Welcome to this video tutorial of Manage Engine Service Desk Plus Cloud. In the next few weeks, we will be releasing some important updates in the change management module in Service Desk Plus Cloud. These include graphical workflows for changes with stages and statuses, configurations to change templates, and guidelines to associate them with the suitable workflows. The new features will give you a lot of flexibility in designing and implementing change processes and will take your change management several notches up. The purpose of this video is to show you what to expect, the highlights to the changes in the user interface and to inform you of what needs to be done once the updated change module rolls out. Just to reiterate, this video is applicable only to users of the cloud version of Service Desk Plus. So fasten your seat belts and step in to the new world of change management in Service Desk Plus Cloud, complete with workflows, templates, stages, statuses, and more. Please note that the updates are not live yet, and we'll keep you posted on the exact date of the launch. The first thing that you need to know in the Enhanced Change module is the change workflows. With the workflows, you will now be able to define the life cycle of a change ticket. Each workflow is made of different stages and within each stage there are different statuses. Change workflow is all about defining the stages and statuses a change will pass through in its lifetime. The default stages available are submission, planning, cab evaluation, implementation, review and close. In the enhanced change management module you can define custom workflows for the different types of changes such as standard, normal and emergency change. The next thing that you need to know is how this update affects the existing changes in your Service Desk Plus instance and how you can handle them. Basically, each change needs to be associated with a stage and status. So here's what will happen to the existing changes in your instance. All the existing changes will be automatically associated with the new default stage and its statuses. Changes which were rejected will be associated with submission stage and rejected status. Completed change will be associated with closed stage and completed status. Changes in any other status will be associated with submission stage and requested status. If a change is not associated with any status, it will be associated with submission stage and requested status. Here's what you need to do to ensure a seamless migration of existing changes to the newly updated module. Technicians with access to the change module and the SD admins will be able to see a banner at the top of the page. This banner prompts the user to move the existing change request to the new stage and status. All the other technicians will be presented with an option to contact the admin. The SD admin will have the option to perform the migration. The admin can either choose to proceed further with the migration or continue using the current version and do the migration later. If the admin chooses to do the migration later, all the existing changes will be automatically associated with their respective default statuses as described earlier. The banner will be seen for all users until the migration of existing changes is complete. If the admin decides to do the migration right away, he can click on the banner at the top of the page, which will open up a pop-up window for the migration. This window will show the change statuses which were migrated to the new stage and status during the default migration. The admin will then be able to change the default mapping, add new status, and map them. Once saved, all changes will be migrated as specified in the mapping window. And once the migration is complete, the status migration bar will be removed and the admin cannot change the mapping any further. The next aspect of the enhancement that you need to know is change templates. Just like how we have templates for the request module in Service Desk Plus Cloud, we have now introduced change templates. All your existing changes will be automatically associated with the default change template. Any additional field that was created earlier will also be associated with the default change template. And after the release, if you create any additional field, you need to map it to the template by editing the template, dragging the field and dropping them. Finally, the new update also brings some changes in the change list view. Post release, every change ID will start with CH and a readable number. The old change IDs 
will not be visible anymore in the change list view or the change details view. You will also notice some changes in the change details view. The details that were available under change details, planning, approvals, implementation and review will now be available under submission, planning, cab evaluation, implementation and review stage respectively. The notifications and notes are now placed under the conversations tab. The technician field has now been renamed to change owner and the requested by field will now be called the change requester. For the change manager role, the approve or reject button will not be available on the RHS anymore. The approval status can be changed by switching to the cab evaluation tab. And that's a quick roundup of what's coming up in the enhanced change management module in Service Desk Plus Cloud. When the release happens, you will have access to a detailed documentation of the migration process. We will educate you with timely webinars to get you up to speed with the new features. For now, just sit back, relax, and wait while we continue to work behind the scenes and get that shiny new change management module up and running for you.